German auto parts supplier Continental is exploring options for a major revamp, including a possible breakup of the company. The news pushing shares higher by as much as 7% this morning. Joining us now with the backstory is Taylor Riggs. And at one point, the highest, the, the most percent change going back for two and a half years. So, so you're getting a, quite of a move on this and a good move. Um, what they're looking at is a strategic review where you would have the holding company and then list shares of some of the most profitable units that would be separately. This all comes down to some of parts valuation, whether that is worth more together or separately. Um, and so they could break it up. Some are saying that you could spin off some of the more, not spin off, but you know, list separately some of the more profitable units like the tire business. You could combine them with some rivals to better compete. So let's look at the different segments and take a look at this and what is most profitable when we look by operating margin. So they really have two key divisions. The more profitable there is their rubber business. That's the tire brand and Conti Tech. Those margins, as you can see, are 21%, 7%. And then there's the automotive unit, which has some of the lower operating margins there. That's safeties, interiors, large powertrains, more you know, conveyor belts that, that power some off-road vehicles. The analysts have supported this. A Sanford Bernstein analyst said that he came out and had pushed for a change for Conti already to split itself up. And so it seems like this is receiving some positive investor interest. Taylor, any split would, of course, need the blessing of the Schaeffler family. It, it owns 45% of Continental. Do we have any idea of what they're thinking or what analysts believe will happen? Yeah, you know, if you just run the HDS function, you can see that there is about 46% ownership from that family. We haven't heard anything from them. And of course, the company has declined to comment. They don't comment on speculation, as they say. The next largest shareholders are mutual fund companies, a BlackRock, a Vanguard. From the streets perspective, um, they say that they've liked this idea. Daimler did something similar last year. And some of the other competitors, Delphi Technology, and Autolive as well have done some other things where they've split into two parts. Um, a lot of this is based on electric cars and the future of self-driving vehicles and how to make those segments more flexible to be able to change and react and grow in those areas and sort of separate that out.